LDL cholesterol level, your lab results explained. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that many of you have asked about, LDL cholesterol levels. If you've recently had a blood test and are puzzled by the results, this video is for you. Let's break it down. First things first, LDL stands for low density lipoprotein. Often referred to as the bad cholesterol, LDL carries cholesterol through your bloodstream, and high levels can lead to plaque buildup in your arteries. When you get your lab results, you'll notice a specific number associated with LDL cholesterol. But what does it mean? Ideally, you want your LDL cholesterol levels to be low. The recommended levels can vary based on your individual health profile, but generally speaking, lower is better. Elevated LDL levels can increase your risk of heart diseases like heart attacks and strokes. So, it's crucial to monitor and manage these levels through lifestyle changes and sometimes medication. One of the best ways to manage your LDL cholesterol is through a healthy diet. Incorporate foods rich in fiber, such as oats, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Avoid trans fats and limit saturated fats. Exercise also plays a pivotal role. Regular physical activity can help raise HDL, good cholesterol, levels and lower LDL levels, promoting overall heart health. Now, let's address some common questions viewers might have about LDL cholesterol levels. Doctor slash expert. Certainly. It's essential to understand that while LDL is termed bad cholesterol, it's just a carrier. LDL cholesterol level, your lab results explained. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that many of you have asked about, LDL cholesterol levels. If you've recently had a blood test and are puzzled by the results, this video is for you. Let's break it down. First things first, LDL stands for low-density lipoprotein. Often referred to as the bad cholesterol, LDL carries cholesterol through your bloodstream, and high levels can lead to plaque buildup in your arteries. When you get your lab results, you'll notice a specific number associated with LDL cholesterol. But what does it mean? Ideally, you want your LDL